new microphone testing so from this video on i'm not gonna do any other video you know imitation of others work because i've got copyright claim from youtube instead i'm gonna make drawings that are kind of like in a similar style so rhino plane command to draw a plane go to grasshopper populate points on the geometry draw rectangles around those points make those rectangles random in sizes by using the random component. Some of them they're like square, some of them they're like strips. So we're gonna try baking it out to see. I just thought it would be nice to have some gradient effects so that the tiles at the top, at the bottom, they gradually dissolve. In order to do that, we can use the scale component with the range and graph mapper. We can have this sign function mapped onto the sorted Y dimension so that from bottom to top, it's going to follow this shape of the graph to scale those tiles. All right, let's see how it looks. Oh, it looks pretty amazing, doesn't it? So to create more variables, Variation, I'm going to taper the form of the original geometry so that at the top and the bottom it's going to taper. Split face command to split it into three parts. Select the top and the bottom edge. Scale them using gumball. So we're going to put different tiles in different layers and different colors for different layers. Google color palette generator and we have a nice color palette. Did you know you can paste the image from snipping tool directly to Rhino by just hitting control V? I just made you look like a dumbass. Use the dropper to set the different colors and we're done. Let's print the image by hitting print and bring it into Photoshop. Search urban facade. Of course you can use your own. I don't mind. Crop the image so that it fits. Go to edit and define pattern. Do that for four different images because we have four layers. Now in the original drawing use magic wand to select the color. Make sure to uncheck contiguous so that it selects all the blue in the whole drawing. Once we have the selection go to edit and fit. Choose the patterns that we just created and boom, it's all effortlessly tessellated. But the color is a bit off, so let's fix that by choosing the layer style as screen. So to add more layers to the whole drawing, we're going to flatten the whole drawing by hitting Ctrl Alt E. To flatten the whole drawing, to overlay it again and to mirror it. So how does it relate to architecture? I mean, the whole drawing can be a vertical section of some kind. So let's just add some sections. Invert the section by hitting Control I, layer style, screen, and start to copy and shuffle around those sections. Flatten the image again, crank down the opacity, and we can have it as a nice background. And there you go.